Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, special, special show today, guys. I got a match today between our own coach, Andrew Gu, and my new friend here, Micah, from the ITF Tour. So we're going to be playing one set for you today. All right, guys, ready? Oh, oh. oh. 
chop. Oh. Oh.
Nice. Good hustle, man. Great hustle.
Need it?
kind of look?
All right, guys, wonderful, wonderful set. If you guys had more energy, I would ask for a second set. But <laughs> but you guys, oh, man, I couldn't ask for more. I thought for sure that was going into a tiebreaker. Coach Gu, I'll start with you. What did you think of Micah's playing today? Uh, Micah played really well. Um, striking the ball really well, very clean. It's really cold outside, so balls are pretty hard, but, I mean, fast. But, I mean, he was playing really well reading the game really well, taking the ball with heavy spin, got me in pretty tough situations. Uh, there, I think it was like one game that he had a few break points, but I cleared it out with uh, the hold, which is like insane. I was, he played a great match overall. I mean, I mean, there's nothing really much to say. I mean, that was pretty almost flawless. Yeah, as Coach Gu was saying, that was just like a chess match. You know, he was mm -hmm. kind of dueling um, Micah here and just trying to just figure out how to you know end the point or strategically serve in a way in which would be more to his advantage mm -hmm. just to his advantage though right it means he has to actually execute what he wanted to do mm -hmm. um, Micah what do you think of uh, coach Andrew today well actually I felt um, on the forehand Speak up. Yeah. Speak up. Go, go real loud. <laughs> real loud. Oh, so I felt like on today actually he pinned and took my forehand out of the game a lot. I, I felt like I was seeing a lot of forehands behind the baseline mm -hmm. rather than inside the court. And especially he was taking away um, the ability for me to try and go flatter on the back end. Um, but apart from that, he served definitely like very well. I he got a lot of free points yeah, yeah, on his okay. serve and he didn't really apart from that one game I was struggling for, for look-ins in his service games um, mm. and I felt pressure from him that if my ball wasn't deep enough that he was going to step in um, and take it early so a couple times that forced me to miss or go too big mm -hmm. um, which is something that's not not very much looked at in tennis like someone's presence of like not wanting to give them a short ball so you actually miss yourself um, but apart from that I thought there was one or two or three like points in it that would have changed it but mm. I thought in general the level was really good and it, we didn't really give each other anything so yeah that's yeah no that that looked really yeah definitely a chess match you guys were um, kind of at equal levels yeah um, and it was like like a gentleman's formal set, yeah, right, mm -hmm. yeah. Right? I mean, a lot of respect. What, yeah, this is kind of like what you get on the collegiate level and the pro level. It's it's just crucial. Like you could tell, like with both of us, I think we knew off the bat that we had to hold serve. That's why the first serves and and second serves actually are so important. That's why like it can change the tide. Right, a break right away can also change your momentum shifts. Yeah. So it's learning how to battle through. Like, especially on, like, when he had a few break points, is learning how to battle that momentum shift. Right. Just trying to make sure you play your pieces right. And, you know, sometimes you don't have those days you can execute, right? right. So yeah. today I got lucky and executed and somehow, like, you know, scraped out the W. I mean, it could have been any way, actually, in this match. So if we were going to go into a second set, what would your strategy be in that second set? I think just kind of sticking to that game plan. Um... Because right now I was kind of feeling, making him feel off that I was pressuring him. So, sorry, let me, let me repeat that. So, in the second set, I was basically still. Damn, wait, hold on, hold on, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this. No, it's okay, just, right. just roll, she can cut it. Okay, so, go. So, um, basically, I was just stick, stick with the same game plan. I mean, I think there's some moments I kind of rushed it, but I think I had established presence on the baseline saying, hey, like, if you don't, you give me a short ball, I want it. I'm going to come in and take it on and go for your forehand. So I think I established that, like, he knew I was going to go for his forehand and um, trying to adjust that game to make sure that, you know, I'm not giving him any um, free points on the backhand, any free points in general, like, like bailouts or, like, slap shots or, like, kind of fancy shots, just sticking to my game and fundamentally keep pressuring him and squeezing him. Because in collegiate tennis, when you get a break, you try to use that momentum shift to go forward in that second set. So that was what I was trying to do. And if I was going to play that second set, try to use that momentum shift and take take the reins on that. Yeah, right. Definitely. So, Micah, what would you do in the second set to change maybe little things? Um, I think 
because of how much this serve was moving, I think maybe I'd stand a bit further back and rip rather than try and take it on the rise um, because the, the serve was heavy and I wasn't getting too much joy out of it. Um, and then I would also, I think I would also try maybe not to go as big sometimes on the on the short ones. I missed a couple. Yeah. That might have changed a few things, but it's like you said, I can't really change much that I thought was so, wrong I mean, with he, the set. I think maybe my it. first serve percentage a little bit yeah. in the first couple games was quite low, mm -hmm. um, but then actually I hit my second serve quite well. So Yeah, you did. Definitely did. Uh, so I think, yeah, first serve percentage and maybe a bit further back on his first serve to try and get in the point earlier or just start the point mm -hmm. rather than obviously losing the point straight off serve and then probably try and bring my court position higher. Um, I was pushed back in that forehand corner quite a lot. Yeah, I think that's the thing. That was the biggest thing in that set was who can pressure each other the most. That's the biggest thing is trying to pressure that person, and that's what we're taught in college. And I was taught in college was to learn how to squeeze the person, right? Not by adding strength or slapping it harder. It's just learning how to. All right, you see that short ball is closing a little bit. Let's see. It. Like that's why on the second serve, you'll see in the video that I actually split step even further in the second serve was so I can establish more presence. I wasn't trying to hit like harder. I was actually trying to take it earlier so he could feel that pressure. So when that ball comes through, he realizes, oh gosh, that's going to come off quick. And that's how I establish my presence. In the I think it was one of the points in the last game of my service game. Yeah. When I served here, Yeah. you stepped in and I had to like block the forehand, yeah. which then you, I think that gave you the match. They gave me the, yeah, gave the set the point. Yeah. They gave me that momentum. And then afterwards, I think, that point on, I just kept moving forward and forward. Yeah. All right. So definitely like a chess match. Whoever yeah. owns the center of the court or closer to this court, whoever whoever's going to basically be smacking the ball harder and ruling the property, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, winning definitely. the point. Yeah. So, guys, great match again. I wish I could see a second set. <laughs> I'm sure everybody wants to see a second set maybe. too. But maybe next time. Yeah. All right. So I want to thank, as always, my man, Coach Andrew Gu. Thank you for playing this set. Of course, always an honor. And uh, Coach Gu, where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting that content there as well. All right. I want to also thank my special guest and new friend, Micah. Where can we find you on Instagram? Um, you can find me uh, on Instagram at Micah Lorenzo, which is M I K A R and then Lorenzo L A R E N Z O. Micah's on the ITF tour. Um, ITF tour is not happening right now, but hopefully he'll be back soon. Yeah. Okay? Hopefully. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.